guys welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a fall DIY for you I'm so excited I love fall as you all know so let me show you I think this is going to be beautiful so let me show you what you'll need in case you want to make this project okay you're gonna need four of these chargers from Dollar Tree and it's the kind of the gold ones you need four of those then you're going to be needing some of these napkins like I purchased at Hobby Lobby that has the pumpkin and the swirls. I love these napkins. And you're going to be needing some gems of just the warm colors like you would see in fall. I got these at Michael's. They were $9.99, but I used a 50% off coupon, so they didn't turn out to be much at all, and you get quite a few. Then you're going to be needing a glue gun some Mod Podge, and I just have the mat. You're going to be needing either a foam brush or a brush like this, I'm not sure which. And like I said, a glue gun, or I'm, you could use the clear Eileen's Tacky Glue or just the original Tacky Glue. And then I used this, you'll just need a bowl. Um, and this one's, you know, it's kind of large. So let me push this down and we'll get started. I'm so excited, like I said, this is going to be beautiful. Okay, the first thing that you want to do is get your napkin out. And this is how I did mine. Now I used, I think it was six napkins to do this project because I wanted things done a certain way, but you get a lot of them. First thing you do is you get your napkin, you put it down. Now I didn't use this part that has writing on it because I didn't want it seen. And then I just took this bowl, put it upside down and put it where it was just, I mean, just barely touching the edges all the way around and traced around it with a, a pin. And then I took my scissors and cut it out. Okay, so that's how you get that part. And once you do that, you'll end up with this right here. And they'll all be uniform because you used that bowl to cut them out, okay? And then, so I decided that I wanted some scroll work, additional scroll work. So I went ahead and cut two of these for each one, the scroll right here. And then I cut two of these right here for each one all right this is going to be so simple but it is going to be beautiful all right now all you have to do next is just take that ply apart and i left mine on until i cut it out it gave it more stability all right and then i'm just going to put it in the center of my charger going to open up my Mod Podge and I think I'm going to put something down just so I don't drip. Okay. Now, all you have to do is just put some Mod Podge right in here on your plate. And I'm gonna try not to go out of where I think it won't be because I, I think it should dry clear, but I don't wanna see anything nasty. So I'm gonna just try to eyeball this. You could measure and figure out how far you had to go, but I'm not going to. But this is going to give such a Pier 1 look. I didn't see anything like this at Pier 1 or, or anything, but I think this reminds me of something that you would see there. Okay, now, I'm going to put this down. Oh, you'll also need wax paper. Okay, you'll also need some wax paper. I can't believe I almost forgot that. Then just take this and smooth it out, then lift it back, and then wherever you see, oh, I didn't get that right in there, go ahead and put that there. 
and I ended up getting some on that plate anyway. Okay, then we're gonna lift this off. I think I'm gonna try to clean this up. Like I said, it should dry clear, but I don't want anything that might detract. Okay, so we'll just put that on there and do like that. All right, I think I'm gonna get another piece. Could reuse it, but I just got some of that on there and I don't want to. All right, now what I'm going to do next, see, this is what we have. It's already beautiful. All right, then the next thing you want to do is take these and I'm going to put one right here where the straight edge of the napkin is along that edge. And then I'm gonna flip it over here, but so that the straight edge is still against that. Okay. Then I'm gonna take this one and put it up to the top. And I'm gonna take this one and put it like this, okay? So you just need to kind of make sure, I mean, it's not gonna be perfect, it's handmade, but try your best to get this like you want it and take the plies apart. Okay. Then we're gonna do the same thing about where you think. And I'm just trying to basically center it up. Where I think I want it, and I think I'll just, just go like this. Okay. Then we're gonna put this down We're gonna get our saran wrap and just push that down like that. I'm gonna keep pushing this down because I didn't on this one. I didn't get that very top that um, I didn't separate all my let. Um, pieces of my napkin on this one, so I'm having a little bit of bubbling on this one. But you won't do yours that way. I did separate it completely on this little scroll work, and it's working much better, okay? All right, now all we're gonna do is do the same thing over here. Okay. And then we're just gonna look at this one. And then we're gonna put this one down. Get our little saran wrap. And just smooth it out. I'm gonna clean this up just a little bit. Like I said, should dry clear, but I don't want anything that looks gummy. All right, then we're gonna do the same thing with this. It's really simple.
smooth it out. And then roll it back gently. And you can go in. You could use a Q-tip to clean up around this too. And then this is the last one. Let's see, make sure I get this right. Yeah, that's how it goes. Sometimes when I go upside down, I'm like, ah. Get your saran wrap before you touch it. And that will make your life so much easier. And then peel it back gently, because right there I touched it without my saran wrap and it kind of messed up, but I don't think it's gonna be a big deal. Okay, and this is what we have so far. It is gorgeous, all right? So what I'm gonna do is let this dry a little bit, go do my others, and then I'll be back, because then we're gonna embellish it with some gems. I'll be right back. Okay, this is the first one that I did, and what I did different with this one is, like I told you, when I was separating the plies of the napkin on this, I left a ply behind it. That's why it's more vibrant than the others. So you could do it like that, or if you choose, you could do it and separate it. I think it's beautiful either way. So now what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and seal this with some Mod Podge very lightly on top of all this. Just very, very, matter of fact, I think I'm gonna use a brush for this and just seal this. And this one's a little, like I said, with that top layer on it, it's a little bit trying to pop up on me, but that's okay. I still think it's beautiful and it's not going to bother me at all. It just really depends if you want it real vibrant or do you want it to look older. And just go around your edges really good and make sure you get that all down nice. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put another piece of saran wrap over that and press it down. And just peel it off very, very gently because that top layer is trying to come up. which you wouldn't have if you separated all your plies. All right, and then we'll just go to this one where I did separate them and just put some on here to seal it down nicely. Just be real gentle when you're going over it. And kind of brush the way it's wanting to go. So I'm gonna go do this to all of them and then I'll be back and we'll start embellishing. Okay guys, here it is just like this and I think if you wanted to leave it like this, it is beautiful. I absolutely Love them. They're gorgeous. This one isn't quite dry yet. I did go in and take a hair dryer set on low cool to help dry them. And I think it's this one might be dry enough to embellish. So that's what I'm going to do. But the others are still really tacky. So let me go ahead and start um, embellishing this. Now, I love these gems when I saw them. And I knew that I wanted something warm and fall looking. So I'm really excited about how this is turning out. I mean, I love them. 
Oh my gosh, if you would see this at Hobby Lobby or Kirkland's or Pier 1, you would pay a lot. Now, like I said, you can either use the Eileen's Original Tacky Glue or the Clear Gel, but I'm just going to use a glue gun. Okay, so what I want to do is I've already figured out how I want them, and I have one plate over here that I haven't finished for a pattern. Okay, I'm just gonna put some glue on the back of this. And I'm gonna put it, try to get it in the center of that. This is gonna be so beautiful. I can't stand it. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna take, that one was like a reddish one, all right? Now we're gonna take one that is like an orange, a burnt orange, and try not to burn your fingers because you gotta be careful. And then we're gonna put this one right here. Then we have that one right there. This is, I mean, oh my gosh. Such a beautiful, to me that looks old, um, old world almost and very um, elegant, almost like you would see a Tuscany. I just love it. I absolutely, I'm beside myself. I love it. Okay. Then we're gonna take another red one and we're gonna put it right here. like that. So I'll go ahead for time purposes and I will finish this off camera and then I'll be back when it's well, I done. I wanted to show you the other one and it's a little, little brown one, um, like a burnt orangey brown. So I wanted you to see that and then I'll be back. Okay guys, here it is. I'm so excited. They're finished. I love them. They're beautiful. Now, um, when you when you take, if you use just one napkin to get two out of, there's going to be a mirror side of that. So you're gonna have, unless you want them all the same way, two pumpkins with the stem going this way and two pumpkins with the stem going that way. So I just mixed up my gems on how I did it um, to match, you know, so they would be a little different. Like these that are going uh, the opposite direction, I just put, the orange and then the brown and that pretty yellow and then the brown and the red, the same on both sides. The top and bottom never changes. And then on this one, I did red, brown, yellow, brown, and orange. And then over here flipped it and did orange, brown, yellow, brown, and red. But I think they are gorgeous. I love them. They're so pretty. They're so exciting expensive looking. If you would see this at Pier 1, Hobby Lobby, Kirkland's, anywhere, you would pay so much money. These Dollar Tree chargers are gorgeous. And you could put whatever napkins you wanted, but I just love these. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.